I'm Caitlin O'Malley. I'm a food editor at Goop. I am all about food tourism. That's like my favorite way to see a new place. Montreal was definitely at the top of my list. When you're traveling in a new city, it's nice to find a friend who has like-minded interests to show you around. So I met up with chef John Winter Russell at Atwater Market, and we picked up some local seasonal ingredients to make his Canadian-style polenta dish. So there's like four markets in Montreal, big ones. Atwater is the closest one to my restaurant. When sweet corn pops, it's always really nice. Oh it's my gosh, kind yeah. of like it's a big summer sign for, yeah. for Montreal and for Quebec in general. And I mean, look at this, this bale of corn, that's insane. It's first corn of the season, so they're really, they're small, they'll probably have like a little bit of sugar compared mm -hmm. to like the really later se late season ones. Bonjour, ça va bien? Chiseau, uh, pour pied. Mm. That's a lot. Oh, it's so bright. Sure, I'm not gonna say no to anything. What can I do for you? We'd like to take taste as many Quebec cheeses as you can. All right, well that's good because us. we have a beautiful goat's cheese, local. And actually there's a nice story about this. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but there was a royal wedding this summer. Well, Mrs. Merkel, she loves this cheese, so they had some ship for the wedding. So it was on the Windsor Pub menu. I would, uh, I would love to buy a nice big piece of uh, Gré des Champs. If you if you have some, this is the cheese in question. And Gris des Champs would be translated in English as the whims of the fields. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Thank you. Cheers. After buying all of our ingredients, we headed to Chef John's restaurant Candide, which is in this great unassuming spot. It's actually a remodeled hey rectory. Hi. The name Candide, like, is yep. there? What is the? Candide in French means naive or blind optimist. Okay. And we're opening a restaurant. Very cheeky, yes. very good. Normally people cook uh, polenta with cheese, so I think we'll just cook the corn, kind of like a little bit of smoked butter, and then we'll just garnish it with all the herbs that we picked. I'm stealing a bite while you're back. Yeah, but of course. Okay. You want to slide all the corn into yes. the pot? Yes, that's a job I can do. Perfect. Just not your average chili flake, man. This is some good stuff. I wish everyone could smell this butter and corn situation because it is like the most intoxicating scent. So you just grade how many, oh, yeah. how much ever cheese me. you want. I'm gonna be here for a little while. It's okay. Cheese. There's only so much cheese there. There. I think that smells good enough. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think it does. I'm just gonna do the the thing where you just go straight into it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I think what you'll see a lot of is just in the same way as the family was growing like Vietnamese herbs um, and then selling them at the market, you'll find people from different cultures bringing their cultures or their interpretation of their cultures and then adding that to Montreal. I was excited to see what else Montreal had in store. Normally I'm skeptical of fusion restaurants, but I was intrigued to see what the chefs at Fieldstone were cooking up. So tell me a little bit about your partnership, how the two of you together have created this menu. We like to call our food New Canadian. We can't just stick to one French technique or one Italian technique or one Asian technique. We like to blend a little bit of everything. It's a very good collaboration of Emiliano and myself. Emiliano's from Mexico City. I'm of Cambodian descent and this is sort of our Canadian dream because we can blend things like purple rice and tequila together. Right on cue. There you go. Why thank you. So this is hibiscus sour. Yes with rye and oh lime juice. Like, boozy, floral, delightful. I'm gonna stop talking now. Yeah, Emiliano's a magician. I mean, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our Fieldstone dessert. It's our signature uh, and our namesake dish. Uh, we have flavors of carob, which is found in a lot of Latin American cuisines. We also are using local beer and local hay and brown butter. This here we have activated charcoal meringue. My impulse is like 
crack it. Be my guest. Ooh, and it's, what a satisfying crack that was. <laughs> I can't believe I love hay. It's so like nutty and weedy, I guess. It, it, it kind of embraces that bitterness, that sort of burnt quality. Absolutely. Instead of just like trying to mask it, but like capitalize on like the charcoal trend. So I think this is really smart and super thoughtful and very good. I come from a family of New Yorkers, so bagels have always just been New York style to me. So I was very excited to not only try, but to try my hand at making some. Hi, I'm Vince, nice to meet you. Oh my God, if you can talk to me with a straight face with this hairnet on. Ooh. So over here, wow. this is where we mix our dough. You need two big eyes to take out the dough. Oh my God. As you see. <laughs> then what we do, we roll each bagel by hand. Oh that's what keeps our tradition. That's so he has something. to roll 44 bagels every five minutes. So the demand is high. That's you, I'll amazing. show you how to work. Yeah, yeah, we I'm start. To watch. So, so we start with our left hand and start rolling it out. It's like that. That is crazy. It comes with practice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready to learn. Don't judge me, because I'm I'm not gonna be good at this. They have to be perfect. <laughs> no pressure. They just have to be perfect. I don't think this is so good. <laughs> Over here, we, we have our kettle and we add a little bit of honey to our water. This piece of wood is called a shiba. So this is what we use to take out some bagels and move them around inside the oven. Oh no, are you gonna make me flip that thing? You can take a step forward. Okay. And just toss them like that. You make it look so easy. All right, there you so go. you're holding here. Okay, I'm gonna right. shimmy my little body around here. Yeah. Very Did good. It. These are nice golden bagels that oh came out of the oven. Warm. Right. Mm. That is a supremely delicious bagel. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all that hard work, I earned a drink. I'm not a huge beer person. I mean, I'll have a cold Modelo on a hot day. So I didn't know what to expect when I walked into Brasserie Harakana. Immediately, I was blown away by the space. Well, I hear excellent beers. Yes. What do you generally drink? I mean, I like like a Sancerre if I'm doing a white wine. I love a Lambrusco in the summer. So we'll start with a few samples. Sure. We'll start with your favorites and then we'll explore a little more. Okay, cool. Cool. All our beers are named by numbers. If every beer has a number, what number is this? This one is 11. This was inspired by a uh, trip in the Czech Republic. You should like it. It's a Pilsner. All right. Welcome. It's definitely, I get that sort of malty flavor, but it's not bitter. You can tell it's like very nuanced. So it's yeah, good. we're gonna try a number 15. Okay. Tarasaki, this one was inspired by uh, Igori Saki. Um, mm, this is a real easy drinker too. My favorite beer that I tried, I think was number 21. Inspired by my dad, which is an easy drinking, sort of a cliche to the 70s beer. It's made to drink this yeah, one. I like I can find out how to drink this beer 100%. Yes. Mm. Man, I am now a beer drinking woman, so <laughs> cheers to that. Thank you. As a food editor, I'm always looking to try new things. And admittedly, I'm unfamiliar with Haitian cuisine, so I was really excited to check out Agriculture. We've been to a lot of places in Montreal. This is so... Transporting. What is the story behind Agricole? Agricole is not about kitchen, it's more the experience, about like the music, uh, the ambience, the, the vibe. We want people to feel like you're in a backyard in Haiti. The goal here is like to sell the Haitian culture, like a rich yeah. culture. Not only thinking like Asian just making rice and beans, we want yeah. to show people that we have a good gastronomy. Oh, this okay. is like gooseberry. Do you get oysters in Haiti? In Haiti you have oysters, but it's not the same taste. It's like, it's yeah. a little bit different. I don't want just doing like Haitian, Haitian, because we are in Canada. I want like to take all the Canadian products and give yeah. it like a Caribbean flavor. Yeah. Join me, won't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Salut. Salut. Right now we have some fresh drink. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have something more heavy, more Caribbean. Oh, really? It's, 
We have the passion yeah. fruit. We have we have the pineapple and the coconut milk in it. Don't mind if I do. This is like dessert. I dessert, just want to yeah. like. <laughs> this one I don't want to share with anyone. Right now you already pass over like all yeah, the milk. I know. But I want I want you to make a tour of the restaurant. Okay. All right, let's right. go. Yeah, let's go. Here is like the kitchen. We have Shahi, my man, like for the fryers. We have Mohamed, my dishwasher. We have Shahib. This is my baby. <laughs> there is a bar. I just see all the bar. I need you to meet like the man. When you come, you have to come with respect and leave him with respect. That's why every all respect, respect. That's why I like. <laughs> Everyone we met talked about the importance of locally sourced ingredients. So on my last day, I decided to see where it all came from myself. But first, breakfast. Can you tell me about some of the, your favorites? So, well, we've been open for 20 years and some of these pastries have actually been, like we've been making them for 20 years. It's incredible. I mean, the thing that I love about this so far is that they're sweet, they're savory. A croissant with like real Gruyere, like oozing out the sides. It just looks, I'm, I'm gonna have to go on a long walk after this. I think seeing where your food comes from and knowing your producer is pretty crucial as someone who, not only as a chef, just someone who eats. I think it's really important. This is one of our gardens. These are small plots and we cultivate using hand tools. So what are the benefits of using hand tools? Meaning like, so you don't have like tractors or anything? Yeah. With we call this kind of more human scale farming. It doesn't revolve around the tractor all the time. And we're kind of demonstrating here that, you know, even if you don't have tractors, you can still be productive. So these are knot ties. Oh, those are my favorite. Yeah. They're like, almost like the Bugs Bunny carrots, right? Look at that color. So this is the tomato house. Oh, look at that. They're so cute. Enchanted eggplant forest. That's... Look at that little baby. It's super fragrant. You can tell that they're, we're in Pepper City. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. Wow, that's really good. Do you do, you guys raise animals here too as well, yeah. right? <laughs> we're gonna have to jump the fence. Huh? Is that really a skirt possibility? I think so. All right, just trying to maintain my, be as ladylike as you can get on the farm. All right. Hello, okay, hi, all right. Well, I'm just gonna keep moving. There you go. Oh my gosh. Hello, are they gonna be so mad at me? No. They don't mind? No. And I can just grab yep. a couple? Yeah. Hello. Eggs are pretty magical. I feel like that's my, like, if I worked a really long day, fried egg on toast and a beer is kind a, of like, Oh, I love the beer part. Well, thank you so much for having me. This has been so wonderful to be here and see how you make this whole place well, work so it's been a pleasure and hope you'll come back and yeah. visit us again. Definitely. Living in LA, we've got a little bit of everything here, but my weekend in Montreal opened my eyes to some really unique flavors. It was humbling to be somewhere new, and, and it made me realize just how valuable it is to get out of your bubble and to experience the way other people eat, drink, and celebrate together. 